Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the Fabtech cancellation series. Today we're talking to Golco International. So you've seen us use some of their products uh, in previous episodes with Man Cub uh, being carbon arc gouging, automated versus man. We're going to be doing some additional videos like that uh, for man versus machine. We've also used it for the 1000 amp carbon arc cutting demonstration that we did. Uh, today they're talking about their new 300 series cat, which is a lot better. It's lighter, it's more portable than some of their previous versions. You also have a, lot, a tool of setup, so you don't need any tools, wrenches, and any of that stuff to get everything set up. And it also has an awesome, easy track setup, so you can just lock it right to the track. So if you've used automated carriers before in the past, and you spend 10 minutes getting the wheels just right, getting everything locked in, so it'll actually run straight down the track, gone are the days of that with this new easy lock system. So without further ado, I'm gonna let Galco explain everything about it. The Galco 300 series cat carriage is used throughout the world to automate a wide variety of welding and cutting applications. Let's jump right in and look at some of the key features that make the newest cat carriage so versatile. One of the first things you're going to notice is the light weight of the 300 series cat carriage at just 17 pounds. Second is going to be how easy it is to mount to the track. With our new paddle lock design and the self-aligning wheel assemblies, this is going to ensure that you mount the carriage quickly and easily every single time and the smooth operation of the carriage will extend the life of your track. Similar to all of Galco's carriages, the 300 series cat has a modular design which makes it easy to add your accessories and equipment whether you're welding, cutting, indexing, oscillating, even powder coating or ultrasonic testing applications. One of the additions that we made is by incorporating a machined dovetail handle. That's going to give you a versatile mounting position anywhere along the rail. So we're going to build out the GK300 linear oscillating carriage just to give an idea of the various mounting positions and accessories that can be used with this equipment. Uh, this carriage here comes with a 1 to 31.4 inch per minute gear motor assembly which gives it a 56 pound vertical load capacity. The paddle locks, self-aligning wheels are all on board, as well as a quick clutch mechanism, which allows for a rapid track positioning of the carriage. Now, this and the other GK300 series carriages use a toolless setup, which means that you don't need any ratchets, wrenches, or screwdrivers to get this equipment set up and operational. Um, some of the accessories that come with the unit are going to be your rack boxes for your horizontal and vertical adjustment. You're going to get an 18 inch arm for horizontal adjustment as well as a 10 and a quarter arm for your vertical adjustment. There's a couple different knuckles and mounting posts to use as your mounting hardware. Of course, you have the oscillator heads and the cable assemblies that attaches it to the carriage. You're going to have your quick connect gun holder assembly. And the wire feed cable assembly, which this is what makes the carriage universally compatible with any wire feeder or power source. With the dovetail handle, you're able to see that we can start mounting at the top, bottom, or center of the rail. I'm going to start right at the center. Put the rack box in and lock it in place with the locking handle. Next, we'll use the 18 inch arm for horizontal adjustment by putting it right in the rack box and sliding it into place. From here, We'll use the rack box with the swivel clamp that it mounts right to the end of the rack arm. Then goes the 10 and a quarter vertical adjusting arm. Next, we have a 90 degree adapter block. Next is the oscillator head itself.
Then we'll attach the quick connect gun holder assembly. And then we have a mock gun for setup. The cable assembly is attached just as easily. The wire feed cable going just below the control and the oscillator head cable attaching below the oscillator control and directly to the oscillator head itself. From here with the flip of a switch, you should be welding or performing whatever operation you set out to do. For additional precision, we can mount multiple cross slides in the horizontal and vertical position, which will give you a more fine-tuned adjustment. And if your application puts the carriage out of reach, a remote is a nice attachment to put the controls right in your operator's hands. All right, so a lot of times when we talk about uh, automated carriages and welding systems, cutting systems, uh, we get a lot of questions that pop up. So the first one is typically, they took our jobs. Like, you know, is this stuff gonna take our jobs? Why would I wanna use an automated carriage system versus just having one of my best guys do this work? The short answer is no. Um, the cat carriage is simple automation. Just like a drill is to a screwdriver or a circular saw is to a handsaw or a nail gun is to a hammer. Those tools are critical to a carpenter and a cat carriage or simple automation is critical to a welder. Using automation still requires the need for an operator who understands the welding process, but you're gonna get improved results. You'll have a longer arc on time, better weld quality, it'll be consistent and repeatable, and you'll have reduced operator fatigue. All right, the second one we typically get is setup. I mean, how difficult, I mean, this thing's got a lot of bells and whistles on it. How difficult is it to set up? Is it gonna be easier for me to set this thing up and let it run, or is it just easier for me to get it all out of the way and just run it manually? The CAT 300 carriage has been engineered where it can go from the Pelican case to the workpiece with no tools required. Not an Allen key, no screwdrivers, no wrenches needed. Two key features that we've added to the carriage to simplify setup are the paddle lock design on the carriage. Makes it super easy to get it attached, lock it in place, and you really can't miss with that. Secondly, on the racking or the torch or gun manipulation, you can see the dovetail piece there that marries up to a dovetail portion on the handle. So anywhere you want to go on the handle, you can't miss. As a contractor uh, or a business owner, why would I want to invest in this equipment? It's probably a little bit expensive up front, but I mean, how long is it going to take me to get a return on my investment? Return on investment really varies by application. It's generally understood that you can increase weld deposition rates by about two to four times over manually welding. The key to adding automation is to increase efficiency. You increase efficiency by reducing stops and starts. You reduce overweld, which is more gas, more wire. You reduce grinding and rework. At the same time, you're increasing arc on time and you're increasing deposition rates. To find return on investment, you have to know the deposition rates. You got to know arc on time. You have to know the overhead cost and the gas cost and the wire cost. In a recent application, we saw it took about 1,200 pounds of 045 wire before return on investment was achieved. All right, so for more information on the Galco 300 CAT, just go ahead and click on the link down there in the description, uh, and you can find additional information about the products. I want to give a, a big shout out to Galco International for helping us out with the video series. Make sure to stay tuned for day three tomorrow where we got some more cool products for you guys. And until next time, make every well better than your last.